Today we're going to show you the four most common ways to cut acrylic, commonly known as plexiglass, lucite, perspex, and acrylite. When scoring, use a straight edge. You can use the same straight edge to guide your blade when you do the scoring procedure. When scoring the material, hold the blade at an angle that gets you the best desired result. It will take multiple passes to get a deeper score line with thicker material. Break material on the score line. The second step would be to use a scroll saw, saber saw, or jigsaw. As you can see, it has a fine tooth blade, which is best for cutting acrylic. You can use a template to trace, make a line, or use a straight edge, depending on what you're going to do. Always make sure you clamp your product down to a table for security, and also keep your hands away from the blade at all times. The third way we'll show you how to cut acrylic is the bandsaw. The bandsaw is ideal for cutting out curved shapes. Make sure you always adjust the blade to about a quarter inch above the substrate that you're cutting depending on the thickness that you've chosen. Try to keep a steady pace while cutting on the bandsaw. The fourth and most common way to cut acrylic is done on the table saw. The table saw provides a very clean and precise cut. You can always adjust the blade to the height just above the material thickness that you've chosen. Make sure to keep hands firmly on either side of the material. For best results, use an 80 tooth carbide tip triple chip blade. Guide the material through the saw, holding firmly onto both sides. Most table saws are equipped with a sliding T. This tool can be used when trying to cut long, thin pieces like you see here. These sliding T's are also adjustable to be able to cut angles if desired. For me, plastics, thanks for watching.